Gate 2020 Civil Engineering Set 2 Question 6 The state of stresses represented by Mohr circle shown in the figure is Four options are given Uniaxial tension Biaxial tension of equal magnitude Hydrostatic stress and Pure shear Reference to the NPTEL course which is relevant for this question has been cited Coming to the useful data so if we are given a Mohr circle so it will have two stress values the first one will be sigma 1 and the second one will be sigma 2 these are called the principal stresses so sigma 1 2 is given as the sum of the axial stress along the x-axis plus along normal stress along the y-axis by 2 plus minus the difference of the axial stresses plus the square of the shear stress. So if we know a solid state element on which sigma x is exerted along the x-axis sigma y is exerted along the vertical axis and shear stress has been exerted on the solid element so using these three values we can find the principal stress acting on the element in this principal stress the first element indicates the normal stress and the second element indicates the shear stress when we talk about pure shear normal stress element should tend to zero and when we talk about only normal stress the shear element will tend to zero so in this case we have been given a Mohr circle whose center lies at the origin comparing this to a arbitrary Mohr circle so we know this is sigma 1 and this is sigma 2 the center will lie at sigma x plus sigma y by 2 and sigma 1 and 2 are given as the center coordinate plus minus the radius of this circle where the center is given as sigma x plus sigma y by 2 and radius is given as sigma x minus sigma y by 2 square plus tau xy square so the center of the Mohr circle is given as sigma x plus sigma y by 2 so in this case the center lies at the origin so sigma x plus sigma y by 2 would be 0 this means that sigma x plus sigma y is 0 which indicates that the normal stress component of principal stress is 0 so this element here is in pure shear a more circle with its origin as center was given and comparing it with the standard principal stress equation we found that if the center of a Mohr circle lies at zero the sum of the axial stresses should be equal to zero which would essentially indicate the normal stress component of a solid state element to be zero which means the element is only subjected to pure shear and there is no normal stress on the element so the state of stress was represented by a Mohr circle given in the figure and the correct option was found out as D pure shear. The relevant NPTEL reference has been listed.